Hello everyone. I am so delighted to join you on this special day and to celebrate this important milestone achievement in your lives. Ten years ago, I was honored to address the first ever graduating class of Macaulay Honors College. At that time, Macaulay was a new institution that spoke to the promise of a world-class public education for New York City's highest achieving students. Well, 10 years later, your ranks have more than doubled, and that promise has been fulfilled. Each of you should be proud of all your accomplishments, both personal and academic. The scholarship experiences and programs at Macaulay have provided you an unparalleled opportunity, and you are so well prepared to seize the future. As graduates, you reflect the city in which you live and the diversity of the CUNY student body. Many of you I know are children of immigrants, graduates of our public high schools, the first in your families to attend college. A lot of you have really overcome so many hurdles to be where you are today. Just as New York is an exceptional city, you have proven yourselves to be exceptional students and citizens. You've volunteered with community organizations. You've undertaken serious field research. You've even studied abroad. I know you're entrepreneurs and innovators as well. And most importantly, you are the daughters and sons of proud parents and families. So it's a joy to be able to celebrate this very special day with you and to thank not only you, but your teachers, your administrators, everyone associated with Macaulay, because your community has been able to achieve so much over this past decade. You joined 2,700 alumni in hearing the call to make the world a better place, and I know you'll be building careers in public service, education, finance, medicine, the arts, everything. And my charge is to please use your extraordinary talents to help solve the challenges facing New York City, our nation, and our world. But for now, congratulations. You have earned this moment, and Godspeed as you go forth into the world.